What's going on, everybody? Brian here with the... What who am I with? I'm with everybody. New Game Network. I'm with Nerd Theory. But most of all, this is the MPG Podcast. MPG, in case you didn't know, stands for Non-Playable Geeks. This is episode 14. I'm Brian. And this dude is... Is this a serious thing going on right now? Hello? Hang on, bear with me. Technical difficulties. Oh my god. Hang on. Do I need uh, to start do I need to start this over? No, it's okay. Oh this god. this it'll be funnier this way. Okay. <laughs> it's not funny when you say it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> okay. It's funny because I say it is. Alright. Okay, hang on. Wait. I think I got this this time. Okay, hang on. Here at MPG Podcast, we pride ourselves on being prepared. It should be. It, can you hear me right now? Yes. Okay. It should be doing something right now. Son of a bitch. Hang on. This, this is ruining my whole flow. And yours, too. Yeah, it is. Fuck. <laughs> and, damn it. I'm just going to fucking... Damn it. Hang on. This was supposed to be a thing of beauty. Now it's an abomination. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. I knew, I probably should really start this over again. Even fortune. Let's get ready to podcast. Is that you good now? Is that what you're going to do, like, every time? Or is it just this one time? Every time. Every time? <laughs> Next time I'll actually do it right. Well, you know what? You know what would be even better? Is if actually you took the time to introduce, just get, do both of us and just get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I should I should make an intro, like an actual intro yeah. sequence. So, yeah, you seem to be um <clears throat> Without, without George it. Michael. Okay. What have you been doing? Uh, let's see. Well, uh, if anybody actually does pay attention to us, they would know we've been playing Battleborn beta. Yes. And, and we'll, we'll actually fun. get, we'll actually, that's one of the, one of the small topics I want to get into. Yeah. Okay. So we'll touch on that later. Okay. And I powered my way through 11.22.63. Oh, yes. The Stephen King Hulu series. Yes. Okay. I don't even have Hulu. I, uh, I'm Canadian. <laughs> so yeah, what, Canadi- Canadians don't have Hulu. No, well, no, I don't think we do actually. Really? Yeah. All right. And I've been playing Bro Force. That's pretty much it. Bro Force. Bro Force. Yeah. Well, how's that you? Well, actually, well, Battleborn. A little bit I've got to play of it. Um. Then I just got. I just reviewed a game I got. It came out on PlayStation Network called Story. Or yeah, Stories. Uh, the Path of Destinies. Um, that's a stel- That's a really good game, like really good action R- RPG, set up kind of like Diablo is. Um, not near like the loot or anything like that, but uh, you level up your swords and your abilities and all that. But it's um very. Co- it's a very colorful game. Uh, very. Um, it kind of reminds me of an old Don Bluth cartoon. Like, think Dragon Slayer with animals. In, huh. in, in some respect. Not exactly like that. Don't quote me exactly in that, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, the story over... I mean, what it essentially is, you go through one playthrough, and you have options to choose from to continue the story. Now, one storyline will probably last you maybe an hour, hour and a half. But when you get to the end of that storyline, you find out you're more likely to find out that that's not the that's not the path that's not the correct path. So it takes you back and resets the storybook, which is how that's how it's narrated. It's narrated by someone like someone who's telling you a bedtime story. Think of it like that. He changes his you know voices for each of the characters and all that. It's pretty it's pretty good. It reminds me of um Bastion uh, if you ever played that for the uh, Xbox 360 or PS4 or whatever. And so then you, okay, and then you go back 
to the beginning of the book again, you start over, but this time your main character knows something's not right. Like, okay, like this this dude betrayed me, so I'm not going to go this route, I'm going to try something else. So ultimately, you could get like um, at least 20 different endings, probably probably a little bit more than that, but there's like, there is a correct path to get to. So it's a game that could last five, six hours, but if you decide to get past that, or, you know, just for the trophies or the achievements or whatever, um, you could c- just continuously play, as, uh, play it and level up your characters um, and, and abilities and all that. So it's a really good game, and uh, I reviewed it. I gave it a 9.1 out of 10 on newgame.net, which you can see on your screen if you're watching this below me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Um, Jesus, what else have I played? I started. Nah, I, I dabbled in that zombie game. It's it's like the zo- it's zombie U that was on the Wii U initially, but they brought it, they ported it over to uh, PS4. Oh yeah, uh, I haven't had a chance to check that out. Yeah, I have it, but yeah, yeah. I don't really have an opinion. Yeah. I don't really have an opinion about it yet. Um, let's see here. I'd like to say that I play more Quantum Break. I haven't, so I'm kind of ashamed of myself. Uh, but I will get. But I will. I will. I will, Steven. Just don't go division on it. What do you mean by that? You know, play it for like a day and then sell it before I get a chance to play. When I'm done beating something, it's done. Sorry. Get on the it's bandwagon. A, it's a persistent online game. I'm done. After it goes le- on forever. After level three, there's not anything to do. Really? Yeah. Nothing Jesus. worth noting, anyway. All right, then. Unless, until they, you know, come out with some sort of DLC, which I'm sure they will. Um, I know they did a patch that added some stuff to it, but there's nothing that was was worth it. Um, Quantum Break, I mean, that's not even an online game. Once I beat once I beat Quantum Break, that's it. Done. That's true. You know there's what I mean? Left so, after that. Yeah, there's no, yeah. There's maybe DLC. Yeah. Eventual. I'm, eventual DLC. And I don't, you know, I don't know if they will or not. Um, but yeah, that's it, pretty much. So, you ready to get into it? Yeah. All let, right. Let, let us, let us, Swan dive into it. Okay, so what do you want first? You want to talk about releases or you want to talk about news? Uh, let's go news. News? Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, not a whole lot of news, um, at least this week. Uh, most of it's movie. I didn't really have a whole lot of gaming news unless there's something that you know of that I forgot about. Um, so one of the news articles is that, uh, it's been rumored that they were going to cro- cross 21 Jump Street and Men in Black. Into a movie together. I heard that, yeah. So it's official. The official title is MIB 23. Yeah. I don't know. I think it could work, but. But there's no, um, <clears throat> there's no, uh, how should I put it? No word if, like, Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones is going to be involved in any way. So. Yeah, and I was reading something that, like, they're not also sure, also not sure, mm-hmm. if they're going to dumb down the Jump Street series comedy for the Men in Black family right. rating. Mm, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I don't know. I wouldn't mind seeing an R-rated um, Men in Black. And quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if they did go that route because of Deadpool success. Yeah. You know what I mean? Really love them. So, all right. So, next. Warner Brothers officially announced that Ben Affleck will be directing and starring in a new Batman solo movie. It was bound to happen. Yeah. Um, I know everybody's kind of mixed on uh, Ben Affleck, but I think... The majority is pretty positive, and I feel the same way about it. I thought he did a fine job, despite the actual Batman vs. Superman movie. So, uh, Microsoft has filed two unspecified devices with the Federal Com- Communications Commission, the FCC, which some believe points to the existence of new- two new pieces of Xbox hardware. That's pretty much all it is. The The theory is is that it's going to be a new, not a new Xbox, but like a slimmed down version of it. Right. Um, if I if I had to say anything, I wouldn't be surprised if it had something to do with HoloLens. Oh, yeah. For the Xbox. Um, so, yeah. As per recent rumors, the first standalone Spider-Man movie set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is called Spider-Man Homecoming. That's it. Really? Yeah. Spider-Man Incidentally, Homecoming. Incidentally, because he's coming back to Marvel Studios. I, They're getting it, the IP back. Well, yeah, that could be one way of putting it, but there hasn't been, like, an official, um, you know, villain, you know, said, or what the actual plot of the movie is. It will feature, um, I guess, um, Tony Stark 
is going to be in it at some point, maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, um, just kind of tie it into the MCU. Yeah, just get that over with. Um, if they really want to tie it to MCU, I think Daredevil should show up, but that's just me. Just me. Just putting it out there. Uh, but he's in high school, uh, so I think the homecoming thing, like what you said, that could have been some sort of you know entendre for that. And I also think maybe he's... Um, Maybe the they think maybe the plot of the movie is like he's in the middle of you know fighting bad guys and it's homecoming and he has to make it back to the homecoming dance. When the prom's tomorrow. I <laughs> know, guys. I don't know. That's probably not it, but that's what someone said. I'm like, you know what? I still I still watch it. I don't care. So, uh, anything that I'm missing, Stephen? Well, I want to tell you actually something that kind of that 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 might that might shock you. Okay. News related. News related. Okay. Kind of. Okay. So I'm in the lunchroom at work, getting uh-huh. my coffee. Uh huh. <laughs> and we have a TV up on the wall. Okay. And someone's like, "Oh my God, Will Smith!" And I'm like, "What?" Oh, the the and, yeah the the, fo- yeah, the football yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. I already so wrote like, it. Will Smith autopsy? What? Huh? And I run to the internet machine, made my phone, uh, spilling my coffee along the way. I was uh-huh. like, oh, it's just the NFL and white Will Smith. <laughs> what if he is white? No, no, you were white. Okay, well, that, that's how much I know about the NFL. Okay. So, for a moment there, I had a lapse in judgment. I'm like, no, no, that, that can't be. Suicide Squad's coming out. In um, in everybody's defense, who thought that MSN when you when you pulled it up, it said like um, autopsy report on Will Smith. And then later on, they changed it to NFL player Will Smith. And everybody yeah. went, oh, yeah. okay. Clickbait. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Really? What? Will Smith? Huh? Huh? I guess he won't be in that Men in Black. Um. So. Found no, by them. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Boom. Anyway. Oh yeah. All right. For releases. Starting next week for the week of April seventeenth, two thousand sixteen. Yeah, that's right, April seventeenth. First one. Lichtum or Lichtum. I I like Lichtum. Because it sounds gross. For the PS4, Xbox <laughs> One, PC, <laughs> Battle Mage is the first person caster that gives the mage the spotlight in a way never before seen in games. With limitless magical power at your disposal, the brutal and brutal enemies around every corner, victory hinges on the combination of skill and strategy. You must carefully craft a vast array of spells and learn to cast them in the heat of combat. Hmm. Does that do it sounds for you? neat. Maybe. Don't know enough about it. Okay, or next. you can just lick them. Mm, lick them, battle mage. <laughs> lick them, <laughs> battle mages, boy. Um, where am I at? I don't know where I'm at. You're at lick them. <laughs> invisible ink, not actually invisible ink, like incorporated. <laughs> it's not a game about invisible ink. Invisible ink is a mercenary <laughs> espionage agency operating in the latter years of the 21st century. Infiltrate procedurally generated corporate facilities in tense turn-based missions where every move could be your last. Find profit and chaos as you guide your team around the world in my screen cut off in search of lucrative contracts. So there you go. That's actually a PS4 title uh, download only. Coming out next week. Next, just random, Pang Adventures. The brothers are back. A game in which players guide two brothers on a global quest to save humankind from an alien invasion. Did you say Tang Adventures? Tang. Tang, P-A-N-G. Yep. yep. Okay. I'm gonna say Tang. I'm like what? Tang Adventures. You're in space and you just have to drink Tang. Cool. I'd play it, but then you gotta. Pooty Tang. Pooty Tang. Yeah, I actually, I actually thought about that. <laughs> Pooty Tang. <laughs> Pooty Tang. Pooty Tang. The game. <laughs> Loud on Planet X. That's the name of it. Loud on Planet X for the PS4 PC. Loud is a strange mashup of two genres: rhythm tap and tower defense. Choose from a cross-section of top indie music artists, then defend your stage from hordes of quirky aliens by tapping to the music and using a fun assortment of makeshift weapons like speakers, strobe lights, fog machines, amplifiers, bouncers, and custom special attacks. I'd like to see what their definition of hit indie artist is. Oh, you know, probably a bunch of Canadian artists, like stars yep. and all that. Um, Moving on. Masquerade. The Bobbles of Doom. I don't have anything... I don't have a um, plot or anything for this game. Couldn't find you know, it in time. That 
that title alone is is enough to go by it. Yes, it looks fun going by the screen ca- uh, screencast, but I I don't know what it exactly is. So, but that's coming out next. Rugby Challenge Three for the Xbox One, PS4. I'm not really going to go into that too much because I, it's rugby. Um, <laughs> Star Fox, <laughs> <Not a lot. laughs> yeah, Star Fox Guard for the Wii U. Use the Wii U gamepad controller to mount a dozen security cameras around a perimeter and defend it against a robot army invasion. As the robot army approaches, shoot at the attackers using the gamepad and TV in tandem. While observers watching the TV shout frantic suggestions about which camera offers the best look to target invaders. So, Star Fox Guard, something downloadable to go with Star Fox Zero, which is the next game that I'm going to go over. Not that it really needs any introduction. Star Fox Zero for the Wii U. Fox, Falco, Peppy, and Slippy, accompanied by their original voice actors, return in a new adventure. Gamers use the gamepad to control their R-Wing spaceship and see the view from the cockpit, while the TV shows the overall context of the full battle. The title includes a new walker transformation for the R-Wing, a new gyro-wing vehicle, and the return of the Landmaster tank. Here's the most to get through! Yep. And finally, finally, let me get to it, Lumo for the PS4 and Vita, an isometric arcade adventure game. That's all I got. <laughs> Coincidentally, though, um, I have an interview with the creator of Lumo coming up soon, as well as a Let's Play. They gave me a 30-minute preview of the game. So cool. hopefully I'll get those questions answered and sent back to me this week. So when that does happen, you'll be able to find it on New Game Network. Or New Game. Well, it's on the New Game Network, but NewGame.net. That's it. That's all I got. All right, then. You had me a Vita, though. Yes. I should. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, so Battleborn. Um, <clears throat> what do you think of it so far? I'm gonna let you go on this. Okay, so when I first walked into it, I had no idea that it was like kind of rooted ever so slightly in the MOBA genre. Mm-hmm. I had no idea how the hell a MOBA even played. I mean, it's very popular, obviously, but I've never had any actual experience with one. Okay. Uh. From what well, would we play it for like an hour and a half, not counting all the all the setup? The other well, night? I think um, I would say at least an hour. The two days that you know we we did play it together, so two hours total, two and a half. Yeah, I suppose I probably should have figured something was up when I saw all those different characters with all the different skills. Mm-hmm. From what I know, which is very little, uh-huh. of like League of Legends and whatever the hell that other one is. Sure. That one. I, I should have probably guessed that it had something to do with it. But, of course, yeah, you, you, you pick your character, and then you get going. And it, it's, you know, it's everybody else already knows this, but it's like a fusion between a MOBA and a Borderlands game. Fair enough, yeah. Kind of, it's kind of Borderlands-ish. Like, the, you can tell, like, the humor in the writing is Borderlands-ish. The outlandishness of all the, of all the uh, characters' background or otherwise. Um... Not so much in the design, of course. It's an entirely different thing. It, the, the design actually seems probably more Halo-ish. Oh, okay. Like the actual like set design. Did sure. you not notice that? In a way, yeah, I can I can see that now. Like, very, like, the, the, like the like, bridges and stuff. Yeah. Very linear and like yeah. blocky looking. Not blocky looking, but like very smooth. I should say, not blocky. Those are two completely different things, Stephen. <laughs> I know. That's that's why I had to <laughs> change my mind. I meant like like like. I meant not blocky, but like, ah, fuck, I give up. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus. And so we did the one night, Mm -hmm. and then we did it again two nights ago, right? Yeah, two nights ago. Yes. And when we were playing the first night, we were getting all these, like, unlockables and all these, like, pieces of, like, armor and, you know, unlockable battle packs and things and I don't know what the hell any of that was until we were actually done a couple right. nights ago, and we discovered that there's stuff you can equip. Yes. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, there's, there was no explanation We'd, to that yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, sure. And that was one of the things about it. Like, I guess, for some reason, I just, I'm just i used to just going to the main menu when you're playing and then equipping or, you know, what have you. Yeah, when you got your character, like, do you want to equip them now? 
But no, you got you got to do it on the main menu. Yes. Like the, the title screen, basically. So, and, you know, once I figured that out, I haven't played it since we discovered that or figured figured it out, so I don't have any um, anything to say past it. I mean, I enjoyed what I played, um, for sure. I'll definitely... You gotta be really fucking careful, otherwise you'll get your ass kicked. Yeah. Yeah, there, <laughs> there, there, is, there is some sort of uh, skill involved, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know. I mean, anything else you want to say about it? Well... I haven't played it alone, but I figure it's probably got to be way better with better playing with people. Mm-hmm. Um, I might consider actually buying it. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. there was another thought. Mow, I mow, to. Mow, yeah. mow, 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 mow. I wanted to interject about it. Um, but it Objection! was very enjoyable. Sorry. <laughs> Shut it, Phoenix. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think sure. that's pretty much it. I, 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 I can't, I can't form a single solid thought about it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I agree with you. Um, I like once again, I liked it a lot. If I really had to nitpick, and then once again, this is the beta, doesn't mean squat. If I had mm-hmm. to nitpick, is the uh, when you do go and find your perks or whatever you want to call them, uh, they're very grouped together and they're not set specifically to a certain character. So. Like, there's, like, um, you know, to increase your shooting or whatever for anybody anybody that shoots something. But not all characters do that. So right, okay, you, ro- yeah. you really have to pay attention to what you're loading on as a perk uh, for these for whatever character that you choose. Um, my, my gripe is is that it's not separated, uh, uh, separated enough for that, I guess, if that makes sense. Because everything is very scattered. Mm-hmm. On that, on the uh, when you, you know, uh, look at your potential stats and opening up your um, the thing. Oh god, what do they call it? I'm just gonna say cases, whatever. You get these cases it has a few more perks in it, and and it's very, it can be very kind of hard, and it just takes time. Which I guess, I guess that's I never played a MOBA, so um, I guess that's kind of what MOBA is. You have to be very particular about your perks and all that. And I think that's probably where the mo- the MOBA part of it comes in, because playing this, I was like, I, no way did I find this to be a MOBA. But then I started looking at, like, the skills and how how that works, I'm like, okay, maybe this is what it is. So, overall, I like Battleborn. Um, I'm going to play it just because I like couch co-op games at the very least, and my wife likes it a lot. So, yeah, Battleborn. I'm good. They I just gave us something to actually play together. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then everybody was like, oh, Battleborn, old news, next. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah, Battleborn, so far so good. That's the rating I'm going to give it right now. I agree. I actually came, came across a piece of news that would be interesting, okay. speaking of um, R-rated. Apparently, the uh, Batman Killing Joke animated movie is going to be rated R. Nice. Have you seen the preview for that? Yes. Okay. I'm so happy that they got Conroy and Hamill back together. I'm so happy. And again, they did the Arkham games too, so it's not really that far yeah. apart. You know, I just love it. it was like Conroy and Hamill's like, I'm never going to voice this character again. I'm never going to voice this character again. And it's just like, oh, voicing this character again. Well, Jesus, people have been killing, like, they've been like killing each other for yeah. the killing joke forever. Not killing each other. You know, they've just been like just clamoring for it because it's like, yep. it was the greatest thing. And it, it fucking better be R-rated for what it is. Yeah. Like you can't and anybody who, who has anybody anybody who's a comic fan and hasn't read The Killing Joke, do yourself a favor and read it somehow. I'll just leave it at that. It's one of the best Joker stories that there is. That, well, one of the better Batman stories in general. So, <clears throat> all right. So that was your bit of news that you just figured out. Um, I, anything anything yeah. you want to talk about before I go into what I want to talk about? Um, I would like to briefly discuss eleven twenty two sixty three. Okay. Have you, like, you've read the book, right? Um, some of it. Okay. Hey, did you watch the show? Not yet. I was okay. waiting, I was waiting for all the episodes to come out. They're all Wh- out. Which they have now, so I guess I don't have an excuse not to. I just noticed that they ate one of those, and I'm like, oh, I gotta finish this now. Mm-hmm. I started the first three, and then I, I marathoned the rest last night. Okay. It's up to like two in the morning. Okay, you know what? If, if you want, we can actually wait until you see it to really discuss it. Okay. That's fine. Is, is this I, a, would this be a movie therapy thing? TV therapy. 
this like um, mini series therapy. No, it could. Who cares? If the mini <laughs> mini series is longer than a movie, so it's true. There yeah, you go. we can we can make it a thing maybe. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch that then. Okay, All so right, well, yeah. on to your thing then. Um, I actually don't want to talk about games uh this time <gasps> as a main topic. Which I know, I know that we're mostly a gaming podcast, but we also, we still do news on movies and television and we talk about it, uh, here and there. So, two things. Number one, uh, Civil War has had its premiere. It comes out for us on the 6th of, of May, so we, we still have a little while, but it's premiered already and people, critics have seen it. So far, everything's a-okay. But that's not really what I want to talk about. Another, and before I go on to that, uh, Doctor Strange had its first trailer. Or first teaser trailer. Have you seen that yet, Steven? No, I think we're headed for a live trailer watch again. Trailer, I need to, I need to come up with an icon for the corner here that says, Steven's Live's Trailer Watch. And I'm just like standing there, mouth agape, I'm like, huh. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need a picture of you for this video, guest. Okay. I'll make sure it's a good one. I got like this one on Facebook where I've got like, like hundred dollar bills sticking out of my, uh, tuxedo pocket. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Yeah, okay, that's cool. What's right. no need to do it now? There's no point, but I'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Are we getting the live one here? Are we pulling it up? Are um. We, are we pulling, pulling it out? Pulling it out. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the live thing. It's just mostly me being silent, so I'll just kind of watch it as you talk. Okay. I'll just listen to you. Well, no, we can hear you. I get lost in your eyes. I mean, your voice. <sighs> okay. Hang on, I have to. Turn it up so that it's not just me. Okay. And my computer fan. Okay. Yay. Here we go. I hear it. Bling. Looks like Bill Nye. Well, teach me. I'm not sure what the hell is happening here because I know nothing about Doctor Strange, but that looks fucking cool. I know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anybody I'm, knows anything about Doctor Strange. I, I, now. I know. The only thing I know about Doctor Strange is what I read recently, and he he does mysticism. I don't know. He can he can jump through uh different like um realities or not maybe not realities but maybe you know, yeah realities would be a good way to put it I guess parallel so, dimensions. Yeah, but not really. Like I don't know if he can like go into an alternate dimension and see like other like people he knows. I think, like, there's altered dimensions, like, you know, you know, other creatures and things like that in, in those dimensions, so. Um, oh, yeah, so it's not like a timeline split kind of thing. No, I don't think so, no. Um, got a very Inception vibe from it. Hmm, who's directing it? I don't know. Nobody that I've, nobody that I know of. But he's going to get known soon enough, so. Yeah. I knew he obviously existed, but I don't really know anything about him. Yeah, good for him. So, we got all this coming out, and then, 
you know, we have, um, oh god, like in Humans and Captain Marvel, we have another Guardian, well, apparently two Guardian of the Galaxy movies coming at some point. Um, another Ant Man. Yeah, um, Ant Man, uh, Infinity War, and, you know, the F- Infinity War, um, two parter movie that they're doing so and on top of that we have the dc part of it where it's well obviously batman now you know wonder woman um justice league part one and two and uh cyborg and green lantern flash we have those movies too so my question is and you know we like comic book movies i'm assuming right you do oh okay so I guess my question is, when is the bottom going to fall out? And what I mean, what I mean by that is, when are people are just going to say, "Fucking stop"? Well, as well, they're starting to kind of scrape the bottom of the barrel here for properties now. Nobody knew what a Guardian of the Galaxy was. Nobody knew what a Doctor Strange was. I consider myself to be an average consumer, mm-hmm. and they're already have made or are making movies out of the important people. Mm-hmm. And now they're kind of just reaching. They're doing the same thing with the with TV shows as well. Well, is it really scraping the bottom of the barrel though when the movies are actually good? Um, yes and no. Because I say yes because again, these are characters that nobody. I'm not gonna say nobody, but I, I I'd say they're kind of niche before their popularity. Sure. But if the, the, the movies do well, that encourages them to. They got more properties, and you know what? Maybe that's a good thing because it gets people interested in old characters, and then it boosts the shit out of their sales. Sure. Because now they can sell these old uh, Doctor Strange comics. <laughs> yeah, really. And, and, and yeah, and there's obviously you know cross promotion with that, um, with you know the comics going on because it, like Guardians of the Galaxy came back around as a comic book like a year before the movie came out, so. There was a plan in place. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I get that. I guess, like, I look at movies, like, they have a certain characteristic about them. Like, you have the movies like Twister or um, Independence Day. You know, a lot of, you know, like, natural disaster movies like Volcano, that shitty movie. They were huge back then. You know, but that's the thing, though. When you say back then, they were huge back then in the 70s. Then they came back around in the 90s. And sooner or later, we're going to get that again. Yeah, the cycle will eventually end. It, it will come. It will come back. So, I guess, like, something has to give at some point. Is it? Is, are these movies, for a lack of better way of putting it, are these movies just bound to stop? Are are they going to go on consistently for an extremely, extremely long time? I would give it probably reasonably you know let me actually take a look before i even finish that the um the release schedule because i heard that like i heard that um maybe this was like completely incorrect but like i heard that dc got rid of a couple of um movies that they were working i heard i heard they were scaling back but i don't know what that meant like I knew, I knew they were supposed to do like a, a, Kaz- a Kazam movie or whatever the hell it's called. See, there's another one. What the hell's a Kazam? Yeah. Well, see that, but see that's de- uh, that's DC scraping from the bottom even before they even had a top. Yeah, that's you, true. You know what I mean? So, like the Justice League is pretty much like their top thing. Next, they need to do a Teen Titans, and then they'll be scraping. <laughs> yeah, but the Teen Titans is actually well known. It's it is, but. They're not they're they're not rushing out to make a movie out of it. Sure. TV series are doing just fine on their own. Right. Even Go, like do Go is doing really well despite the fact it's like hardly even a show. Mm-hmm. My kid loves it, so I and I watch it with her. It's great. It's just pointless. Anyways. Uh, so I I don't know. And I I say this I bring up this topic like you know eventually it's gonna have to slow down a lot or just flat out end and then come back at another time more than likely. But it just doesn't seem like it's going it's going that way as of yet. And I just will it ever. Because it, back in the day, like com- comic book movies back in the day, they they were what they were. Like you had a Fantastic Four movie, you had an old Captain America movie that was then they were trash. 
because they they just couldn't they couldn't pull it off. Um, then it came then it kind of came back around like you had Batman and that was pretty much it. And then if I really want to put my finger on the movie that started this this Marvel DC comic or not even not even that just like comic craze in general and their properties I would say Blade and then followed by X-Men. So it started off slow, but now we're just so, like, we're getting, if you really look at it, and I'm not complaining, as a consumer, like, bring them on, because I like them. Um, but, as a, but as for anybody else, it's just like, you're getting, like, three of these movies a year, maybe four, and it's, like, it's just like, are you, are you going to slow down a little bit there, Chief? I mean, they won't, because, you know, money. Um, but are you, I mean, are you going to tire of it? Are you going to be like, you know what, I'm good. I'm just looking at stuff here. Okay. Like all these, this list of like comic book movies that I didn't even realize were comic book movies. They're they're not Marvel related either. Like uh, the mask was based on a comic, right? And that did really well for itself. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Spawn. That was really awful. So now, a lot of these are good, but not as popular or as great as. Our Marvel and DC movies of today. Sure. I mean, they wouldn't really say DC Spe- movies, but speaking of Spawn, there's a short, like a somebody like an independent short film based on Spawn, and I think it it was some German guy. It was either German or Russian. I mean, everything is in English, I think, if I remember correctly. But it was fantastic. Like like yes, give me that Spawn movie any day of the week, and I and I'm sure there will be. Mark my words. Oh yeah, they're gonna redo it. Yep. The the movie really failed to capture the magic of the TV series. <laughs> yeah, which didn't even capture the magic of the comic, but it was really good on its own as a series For, on HBO. Yeah, and yeah. I think well, see, that's I think that was another thing about it too is that they're making a PG or a PG thirteen Spawn movie, and it's just like Deadpool. You can't. I don't think that works. No Spawn. No. <laughs> so. Just what happened. Oh, yeah, look at that, Ninja Turtles. But that was based off the TV series. Based off a comic, yeah. Yeah, so, you know. Time Cop, really? Huh. Wait, there was a Time Cop 2? Yeah, I think there might have been a 3 at some point. I think the second one was, like, straight to video. Hmm. But going... So, moving... Going to... um, Well, there's also the thing, too, where a lot of the comics that are not mainstream, like ones that are published by Image or whatever... um, like we have Walking Dead, we have Preacher coming to AMC, which and then we have the animated version of the comic Chew. If you ever read that, it's pretty funny. Um, so there's a lot of comic, you know, like these independent type comics coming as t- uh, as a TV series now. So it's a comic, but not in the way that like Marvel and DC or DC or comics, you know, superhero. Sort of speak. So there is that. I don't know. I just at some point the it's got to it's got to bombs got to fall out, and people are just going to be just like enough. The only way I see that not happening, at least for Marvel, like they can do a spider another Spider Man movie probably, and I don't know what their plans are, but the only way I could see it still being relevant in the far future is if. In um, and they probably won't do it. And this is just this was just my nerd coming out of it. In the Infinity War, um, something just popped up. Yeah, that was me. Go oh. on, keep talking. I'll explain that in a moment. Okay, well, I don't, I don't even see what you're doing. Um, it's like with the, the the with the Infinity War, the Infinity Gauntlet that has the power to reset time. Oh, so, the, and if they really wanted to be Marvel about it. They could do that to where, like, a lot of these actors' contracts are up soon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Iron Man and Thor, Captain America. Um, their contracts are expiring soon, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they somehow they use that to reset the universe, so that way we can have other movies. Not necessarily another Captain America, not necessarily an Iron Man, but maybe like Spider Gwen, which is a popular series, a really popular series right now. Where and if you don't know what that is, it's essentially what would, what happens if if Gwen Stacy got bit by the spider instead of Peter Parker. 
Huh. And that's a real popular series right now. It's an alternate universe, for, to be sure, but it's an ongoing series, and it's... Um, well, actually, no, I take that back. It's not um, an alternate universe anymore, because they combined the two damn universes. So moving on. Um, or, you know, maybe they can do a Captain America, but instead of it being Chris Evans, it could, it's Bucky. You know, so it's basically, yeah, and reboot it, the MCU to their own. Yes. Whatever they were doing, one for one offs even. Yeah. And oh, like, wow. what? But see, the, universe. But see, another, sixty-five. Yeah, and then what was it? Like Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, that's not the same team, um, because now Venom is a part of the team, and so is the Thing from Fantastic Four. Really? Yep. So. Wow. Because Venom's not a, Venom right now is not a bad guy anymore. The fuck am I missing? Venom took over Flash Thompson because Flash Thompson came back from the war, whatever, crippled, and he conjoined with Ve- the Venom uh, symbiote, and now he's a he's a good guy. Oh my God, I'm missing everything here. <laughs> and, wow. And I'm a nerd. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I really got to pick up a comic once in a while. Jesus. God, just go to Wikipedia. Jesus Christ. Now, um, what do you think I do every show? <laughs> but anyway, you know. Once again, I'm getting off track here, but yeah. I just, I don't, I just don't know. Maybe Marvel would be the exception to the rule. I, DC, I can see, and that's just not me being a Marvel fanboy. It's me looking at Superman and then uh, Batman versus Superman, me going, uh, maybe this will not end well. Maybe? I don't know. Um, there's always going to be Batman movies. Um, there's probably always going to be a Superman movie at some point in someone's life. But as far as, like, Wonder Woman or The Flash, which there's already a TV show, oh, or, you know, Cyborg or whatever, that's not going to... I just don't... I don't know if those are going to stick. So, yeah. That's the... If you go into, um, into Skype and then open up our thing, it'll probably just have, like, my face. So, like... Minimize it? click on, on my name or the little, uh... Arrow things? 20 arrows, yeah. Oops. What I sent you there was a list of the to-be-determined comic movies that are announced and are being worked on. Okay, so I'm looking at this. 100 Bullets is, was, a, was a popular comic book. Um, I think that's ended now. Some of these, I don't even know what the fuck they are. Blade, that's, they should do that. Yeah, Blade needs a reboot after all those. Um, Bone. I, no, Bone. I, <laughs> Bone. Um, I, I know of it, but I've never actually seen it here. There's Chew. Yeah. Chew's awesome. I love Chew. I'm surprised. I, I'm not down the list yet, but if they don't have, um, sex, sex criminals in there somewhere, I'd be surprised. Uh, The Crow. Well, that's been trying to get off the ground forever. Excalibur. Excalibur, you mean like the, the X-Men spinoff? Sorry. That's not happening. I think there's, there's no E in that. I don't think it's the right Excalibur. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense then. Uh, Fathom, no. That garbage piece of crap comic. Um, See, like, the, the fact that we don't, like, a lot of these are obscure titles that I haven't even heard of. And they can work because because of that reason. If That's you don't, true. There's if, that. if you don't promote it as, you know, a superhero movie or a comic book movie, then chances are... If, if, you know, it might be really good. I mean, there's going to be people that know what it is. I mean, a lot of people, like, not, maybe it's a bad example, but Watchmen, nobody knew, a lot of people went to see that didn't know what the fuck Watchmen was until you talk to guys like us who knew originally what it was. Um, what we got here? Lobo? Man Man of Steel 2 will happen. It seems like they'd just be kind of riding on uh, Deadpool at that point Yeah. for what Lobo is. Yeah, the new mutants that is happening. I read that. Um, Painkiller Jane. That's just that's a Punisher thing. So if they do that, it might be Netflix only. Um, so you just say? Are you saying then that uh, Netflix now presently owns the right to the Punisher for uh, production? Yes. yes. Mm. Well, the Punisher's in uh, Daredevil this season. I know, but does that yeah. mean that they that they own yeah. the the yes. IP right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think Fox had. The Daredevil and the Punisher, and then they lost the rights because they weren't doing anything with it, so it went back to Marvel automatically. 
See, that's why they, that's why there's like they made more Spider-Man movies like right after the Tobey Maguire ones because if they didn't, then it would go back to Marvel. Right. So they kind of just filled up the space so they can keep the keep the property. Yep. Sleeper, I can see. I'm Suicide Squad sequel, possibly. I mean, it could happen. Venom, that's been talked about forever. Yeah, no, that's been yeah, like yeah. Um, <laughs> wanted to. Wow, really? Really? It was the first one that good? I mean, it had its moments. Don't get me wrong. Witchblade, no. Young Blood, <laughs> I can't believe Young Blood's even on there. Jesus. <laughs> um, so yeah. I mean, there's a lot on there, and, and once again, they're they're obscure to me, um, because I I've been out of the comic thing for I'm I'm in it off and on, I but I keep up with it enough to know what's you know going on for the most part. Um, so yeah, Jesus, the goon. Oh, I heard that was good. Cowboy Ninja Vikings, really? Cowboy Ninja Vikings. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But see, but see, that's what I'm talking about, though. I mean, these are okay because they're not comics. I mean, they're comics, but not in the comics of, like, Marvel or DC comics, for the most part. Right. Um, so th- those could work, um, like, if they were a TV series or if they were a movie. I don't know. It just seems like... I guess I'm afraid that it's just going to get to the point where they're just doing it for the sake... making Making these movies for the sake of making the movies and not making them good anymore. And, and I'm afraid that's going to happen. And it might not. But, uh, I mean, and I'm not tired of them. I just think there has to be a point at some point where it just kind of stops for a while, at the very least. And I have a bad feeling that if it's not with DC, it might be with um, after the Infinity War movies come out. And uh, you know what? That is honestly entirely likely. Uh, we may be heading to a point where. I mean, because if you if you really look at it, after the as of right now anyway, the after the Infinity War movies, you have like Captain Marvel, another Guardians movie, uh, the Inhumans, which even Marvel fans don't understand what the hell's up with that yet. Um, I know there's going to be another Ant Man movie, but you know what else? They did announce Spider-Man. I'm sorry, that's true. There is a Spider-Man coming out, but I don't know if that's going to be before or after the Infinity War. So anyway, anyway, most for the most part, after it, it's going to be very, eh. Okay, we're getting a couple sequels, and we're getting Captain Marvel, which I'm not a fan of Captain Marvel, but maybe the television or not television, but the movie version will work. And the Inhumans, which I care nothing about at this point. So. And then Cyborg, ooh. For DC, oh goody. Yeah. Because that was the one char- that's the one character I need to know more about. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm looking too much into it. But after the Doctor Strange trailer, and it, not because it looked terrible by any stretch of imagination, I just started thinking about like, my God. I mean, it's a good time to be a nerd, but at the same time, I just hope it's not overkill. Excuse me. Because if you think about, it, not even with that, like with Star Wars, we're getting a Star Wars every year for the next five years now. Yeah. Like, That's a little bit much. When, I mean, at what point in anybody's life did anybody think that was going to happen? Hasn't happened for the last 40 years. It probably won't ever happen again after this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, and they, I'm sure they have some sort of planned work in, you know, past episode 9, if they decide to do that. I would, mm-hmm. lo- I would love it if they did, redid the prequels. Holy crap. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my, um, my cousin-in-law, she's like... I'm gonna watch these Star Wars movies, and then like in like three hours later, just watched Episode One. It sucked. I'm like, because you watched them in the wrong order. Yeah, exactly. There's a there's a there, I, I can't remember what they call it, but there's a certain order that you should watch those movies in if you've never watched them before. And it's like two, four, three, five, six, and or something like that. Anyway, so that way. You don't get so there's no spoiler if you didn't know that you know Vader's Luke's father. I just like googled best order T, and then it filled in the rest for to watch Star Wars movies. <laughs> Google knows. Google knows everything. To avoid spoilers, there it is on Forbes. 
No. I always thought of Forbes to be more like a more refined publication than it is. Oh. And like, on... No. They, they, they want to make money just like everybody else, so they'll do They're what like, they want. Like posting about like iPhone jailbreaking now. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Episode order 4, 5, 6, 1. Oh, the resource order. Never mind. Uh, the spoiler free approach. Yep. Okay. Machete order. What the hell? Yeah, that's what it's called. Machete order. Four, five, two, three, six. Okay. One isn't even there. Yeah, one. There's just like you, you know. yeah. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> <laughs> we want to watch that at the very end, just for like, where did where did that come from? You know, to be honest, and I, somebody's probably gonna you know say something about it eventually. Is like I actually hated two more than I did one. Because I thought two was garbage. At least one had a good lightsaber fight scene at the end. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was. Yeah, sorry, I was jammed to that, and you just stopped. Never interrupt me in the middle of a hoedown. Call one eight hundred Sir Mix a Lot and think them nasty thoughts. Baby got back. Yeah. All right. That'll be the new intro. You want to bring anything else up before we end this? Uh. Yeah, actually, uh, I downloaded a whole crap load of games from my purchase history on PS4 because I was looking for stuff to do. Mm-hmm. And I tried Galaxy. Okay. And there was another one that was just like it. Mm-hmm. That we also got like a month, like the month after that. I can't remember what that one was called. It was very underwhelming, but I didn't like either of them. They were both like asteroid style games. Okay. <laughs> and that disappointed me. All right. Well, for what I'm paying for my PlayStation Plus, damn it. I know it's free and everything. No, it's not. Well, I'm paying for online access is the way I put it. Okay. Well, I guess if you, if you want to look at it like that, then yes. Now I am. PS3 days, you were paying for the games and that's it. Yep. But, yeah. That's a, that, maybe that's a discussion for next week. Yeah. Uh, whatever happened, never mind. I'll save it for there. Whatever happened to predictability, the newsman, the paperboy, the evening oh, and even TV. TV. Wow. And on that note, I'm going to end this. <laughs> I'm going to end this podcast because <laughs> now, now I'm quoting Full House uh, lyrics. All right. Uh, once again, uh, this is the MBG podcast. You can find us on iTunes. Please, uh, well, download, <laughs> download, rate. All that good stuff, it helps out, help, the application, game, helps us out a lot. And if not, you can catch us on the New Game Network at www.nugame.net where you can download the audio, or hopefully, if everything works out well, this video. Also, which you can, will find on YouTube. So, that's it for me. I'm Brian. This is the voice of the North Steven. Say bye, Steven. Everywhere you look, everywhere, everywhere you go, there's a heart, there's a heart, a heart. from here on to, <laughs> and we're done. <laughs>